Morning, everybody. It's John from Veganism Kills. It's 3 a.m. Saturday, January 2nd. Today I'm going to do something a little bit off the beaten track, and I'm going to explain to you the part that veganism has in splitting society into two classes. Predator and prey class. Uh... Uh, elite echelon versus servants, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the first part, if you want to figure out what's going on and why veganism is an important tool to these Fabian socialists, you would have to learn that from H.G. Wells. He pretty much puts it uh, pen to paper very well, and it's in a lot of his uh, movies they made based on H.G. Wells' writings. First one you want to watch, 1939, Things to Come. The second one you want to watch, The Time Machine. And a specific part is where the time traveler goes into the future and meets the Eloy and the Morlocks. And you'll see a two-tiered structure of masters and slaves. Morlocks are the masters, the Eloy are the slaves. Now, when he meets the Eloy at first, they invite him to have some food. You'll notice the producer was smart enough to show you what the Eloy were eating. They were eating only fruits and vegetables. They had no meat. That's because the Eloy were the meat to the Morlocks. In other words, uh, the Eloy uh, were basically a, so a resource to the Morlocks and nothing more, nothing less. If you watch the later versions of the Time Machine, you'll see, uh, I think, it, uh, when he meets the Morlock Head, who commands the, 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 the other vicious creatures that are running around kidnapping and basically killing the Eloy as a resource. He explains that the Eloy exists so his lineage can go into the future. And they, that, that's all their existence is to be a, a stepping stone for his gene pool to go into the future and dominate the world. And that's Fabian Socialism. Now, if you want to see a Fabian Socialist, you don't have to look no further than the Queen herself. And just to prove what I say is true, anything that interrupts the lineage from carrying on into the future in the echelon they were born into which the Queen is very restrictive and that's why Prince, Princess Diana was <laughs> and there's a reason behind that she wanted these two boys to remain in the royal family not wander off with their mom doing what she was doing that wasn't allowable she had to go and believe me, this woman does not, she, she, she came through World War II. She ordered, basically helped organize her country and had people kill each other. So killing somebody, I don't think would be a, a big deal to the queen. And this woman here, Meghan Markle, who took Prince Harry away from the family and has children of the, the royal bloodline under her care, she's interrupting the royal bloodline. And the Queen comes from a long family, you know, long line family history of where, you know, sister chopped off the head of sister just by snapping the fingers. I don't, she, she's competition for the future. She got to go. Megan, Mar Megan Markle, she's competition to the future. So, just to prove my theory, I hate to say this, but you watch this young lady. When she separated from Harry in some form or some way, where she doesn't have those children with her, She's going to suffer some kind of personal mishap. And that's all I got to say. You watch this woman. She interrupted the bloodline. The bloodline of dominance, where this family can, can stay on top. She's interrupting it by removing one of the princes from the family. And everybody says, ah, the queen doesn't care. Oh, yes, she does. Read the Express where she refused to let Harry place a wreath at the Remembrance Day service. And Harry's an ex-soldier. 
So there is animosity there. And believe me, the queen, she'll smile at you and then she'll walk away, you know. She's got to go. And everybody says, oh, if the queen ordered the, uh, them to kill Megan, oh, somebody would come and say nothing. No, no. This queen has many seats and many courts. She could fly out to Saudi Arabia and go speak to one of her her, her prince friends over there. Yeah, they're, they're, a lot of them are related. She could go ask for a favor. With the billions she, she's got, trillions that she's got, she goes and talks to the prince, one of those princes over there. She's a dead woman. She's dead. This lady has so many uh, people inside so many different intelligence agencies across the world that work for her, answer to her. She wants this little scullery maid in her eyes dead. She's dead. So watch this woman very closely. If she separates from Harry, where she doesn't have the kids, and, and she does this habit every day, Either she's going to have somebody run a car into her. They won't, they won't harm the kids. They won't harm Harry. But anybody else that's not related to the queen is, is with her. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Believe me, it's coming. And again, these in, in the future... These people want to make veganism the main staple to the servant class where you're weak, you can't resist, you're just strong enough to do the work, and then and then you die off when you're not you, you don't produce any more work. Just work meaning serve them. That's it. It's that simple. And veganism plays a part in it. Watch again. Watch the time machine, the 1960 version. Watch the, the, the social structure. Watch what the Eloy are eating. They're just there when the when the when the alarm rings. All they do is get up. You know, the alarm, which is now TV and the internet, says line up over here to be slaughtered. Go get your vaccination. That's what they've done. They use abject fear and controlling you. And they, the reason why they want to control you is because they want to dominate the future. They want their bloodline to be on top all the time. They're obsessed with it. Just like you want your kids to do better in the future, so do they. But they have less scruples than we do. When, when their lineage was growing up, it wasn't uncommon for them to kill their sister, their nephews, their brothers. They didn't care. They went to war, killed, killed tens of thousands of people. Hundreds of thousands, millions of people. You think they're going to care about Mrs. Meghan Markle over here? I'm telling you, she interrupted the bloodline. She emasculated a prince in front of the queen. She's on borrowed time. And on that note, I'm out of here. If anybody likes to talk about this, I'll talk to them about it. It's very interesting. And you'll see what's going to happen. Mark my words. Keep an eye on Meghan Markle. Don't be surprised she's going out on a helicopter ride without Harry and the kids. And she doesn't come back home. And on that note, I'm out of here.